I put out a video late last year covering a few must-know Excel functions for real estate analysts, which broke down some of the functions that I found to be extremely helpful and very commonly used within a real estate context. And while these functions and functionalities are all worth learning and using on a regular basis, these are only the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the functionality of Excel as a whole. And because of that, I wanted to create a similar video, but covering some of the more advanced functions and features that aren't as commonly used, but can be just as helpful. So if you already have the basics of Excel down and you want to take your modeling skills to the next level and make sure you have some advanced tools to help you tackle a variety of different modeling scenarios that you might come across in the field, in this video, I want to cover four of the most useful and less well-known Excel functions for real estate investment analysis, specifically what each of these functions can be used for and how these can be incorporated into a real estate financial model. So to jump right into this, the first function on this list is really two functions that work together, and these are the index and match functions. The index function allows you to return a value at the intersection of a row reference and a column reference within an array, which can be really helpful on its own if you know the exact row and the exact column that you want to refer to. However, this function starts to get really powerful when the match function is used in conjunction with index, since this will allow you to dynamically choose that row reference and the column reference you want to return without having to go into the formula itself and manually hard coding those row and column assumptions. For example, if you're trying to return a certain cash flow value for a specific line item in a specific month or year of an analysis, index and match will allow you to do that and the results of this formula will change automatically when inputs or dropdown lists are adjusted within a model. And if you're trying to run something like a scenario analysis requiring multiple simultaneous changes to assumptions, index and match can also dynamically adjust these all at one time, allowing you to quickly and easily implement changes and see how those adjustments impact returns. Now, if you're using Excel 2021 or later, or you're a Microsoft 365 subscriber, XLOOKUP can also accomplish what index and match can do. And if this is available to you, this is also another great option to use to return the same result. However, even if you are working in a newer version of the software, I'd still recommend learning index and match since in an analyst role, you usually start out working in a pre-built financial model, which is very likely to have been created many years before the XLOOKUP function was introduced. So understanding both how index and match work together and how these are used within a real estate financial model specifically is going to be really important if you'll be working in or auditing a pre-built acquisition or development model on the job. Now the next function worth mentioning in this video that I've found to be extremely helpful, especially in difficult modeling scenarios, is the offset function. One of the most common use cases for the offset function is to dynamically select a start period and an end period of a given range, which can be a really useful feature within other Excel functions like SUM, AVERAGE, and even XIRR in XNPV. Without offset, the range within these functions is going to be restricted to a set start and end cell reference that won't change when inputs in the model are adjusted, but with the offset function, these ranges can be adjusted automatically as other inputs in the model are changed without having to make modifications to the formula itself. This functionality is really helpful in scenarios like a next buyer analysis when you need the start period of the XIRR function to be dynamic since the next buyer's acquisition date is going to change based on your projected hold period and you won't want this range to start before that initial cash outflow occurs. Offset can also be used to dynamically select the start and end of a sum range, which could be helpful in scenarios where you want to find the total cash flows that occur between two dates, but you don't have month numbers or year numbers in the model to refer to. An offset can also reference the contents of a specific cell, a certain number of rows or columns away from another cell you select, which can be really helpful when modeling things like rent or expense growth over time, especially 
especially when these growth rates are applied every X number of months or years within an investment analysis. Ultimately, if you're looking to create a dynamic range in Excel, Offset is one of the best ways that I know of to do this. And if you're looking to level up your modeling skills, learning and using this function can be a great way to make that happen. Now, next up on this list, we have a really helpful function to model out metrics having to do with timing within a real estate financial model, and this is YearFrac. YearFrac measures the exact number of years that have elapsed between two dates, and since a pro forma model makes future cash flow projections over an extended period of time, this function tends to come in handy in a variety of different scenarios. YearFrac can help you do things like calculate the weighted average lease term remaining on a commercial property, calculate the compound annual value growth of a property over time, and even trigger rent or expense growth based on how much time has elapsed since a property was acquired. YearFrac removes the extra steps of finding the difference between two dates and then dividing that difference by 365 or 366 in the case of a leap year and also prevents you from having to use the date diff function which will only return the whole number of months or years between two dates and doesn't even show the syntax of the function in current versions of Excel. YearFrac can help you analyze rent rolls, calculate the future value of an investment, and dynamically calculate market rents over time, and because of its versatility, I found this function to be a really useful tool in real estate financial modeling. Now, the last function on this list is especially helpful for improving the visual aspects of a real estate pro forma, and this is the concatenate function. Concatenate can be used to combine the contents of two or more cells within a single cell in a model, and this can be really useful in scenarios where you wanna combine something like a tenant suite number with a tenant name, show metrics like the purchase price and the purchase price per unit or square foot in the same cell, or you wanna see something like an acquisition fee in percentage format and also as a whole dollar value both in the same place. One of the scenarios in which this is most commonly used is within a sensitivity analysis, and by using the concatenate function here, you can actually see the impacts on two different return metrics, like the equity multiple and the IRR, all within the same data table. Again, if you're using Excel 2019 or later, or you're a Microsoft 365 subscriber, functions like concat and text join can also be used to combine values. But if you're looking for a clear and straightforward option that's going to work in all versions of Excel and may exist within a pre-built model that you'll be expected to work in on the job, concatenate can be a really helpful function to learn and use. Ultimately, once you have the basics of Excel and real estate finance down, these functions can all be extremely helpful when solving more complex modeling problems. And if you wanna learn more about these and other advanced Excel functions that are commonly used in real estate financial modeling, and if you wanna prepare for an Excel exam that might be given to you when interviewing for analyst or associate roles at top real estate firms, as always, make sure to check out our all-in-one membership training platform, Breaking a CRE Academy. A membership to the Academy will give you instant access to over 120 hours of video training on real estate financial modeling and analysis. You'll get access to hundreds of practice Excel interview exam questions, sample acquisition case studies, and you'll also get access to the Break into CRE Analyst Certification Exam, which covers topics like real estate pro forma and development modeling, commercial real estate lease modeling, equity waterfall modeling, and many other real estate financial analysis concepts that will help you prove to employers that you have what it takes to tackle the responsibilities of an analyst or associate at a top real estate firm. And if you like this video and want to see more Excel focused content like this on the channel, make sure to hit the like button to let me know and let me know in the comments what other modeling related topics you'd like to see covered in a future video. As always, thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you found this helpful. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to see more videos like this every single week and I'll see you in the next video.